Hi guys, I know what you want. You want another top 10 video. Well guess what, you come to the right place. My name's Danny Burke and welcome to Most Amazing Top 10. This is the channel where we take all kinds of weird and wonderful things from all around the world and put them into a nice top 10 list so you don't have to. And today, we've got the top 10 ways to die in Minecraft. So first off, I wanna know from you guys, do any of you play Minecraft? Let me know in the comments below. If you have played Minecraft, you'll know there's a hell of a lot of ways to die. It's almost like everything is out to get you. So we found the most common, the coolest, and the straight up weirdest ways to die in the game. And if you don't play the game, you definitely will want to now. As we jump right into our number 10, which is being killed by a ghast. The ghast is a huge floating mob that hangs out in the nether. They look pretty cute, right? Yeah, until they start spewing out fireballs from up to 100 blocks away. But you know what's worse than being fireballed in the living hell that is the nether? The noise that the ghasts make. Seriously, when you hear this, you know it's about to go down. A close range their attack is the fourth strongest in the game and probably kill thousands of players a day. Yeah, not so cute now are they, didn't think so. Well, anyway guys, we started off with a bang, so let's jump right into our number nine, which is TNT. When players find out they can actually make TNT in the game, they're usually like, oh wow, cool. So they grab their gunpowder and sand, run over to their crafting table and make themselves some TNT. But, it can really be as dangerous as the real thing. The safe thing to do is to use a redstone trail and do it from a safe distance, but most new players don't know that, and they end up right clicking on it before they know it, it's flashing white, and they've blown their brains out all over the walls of their new log cabin. I say that from personal experience. Also another personal experience is drowning. I'm sure a lot of you guys who have played Minecraft know what I'm talking about, and that's why it's our number eight. If you walk out into the sea and dive down for too long, your little air bubbles drop down, and eventually your heart too, until you're dead. So just stay out of the water, right? Uh-uh. It's not that simple because sometimes water won't stay out of you. Sometimes you'll be minding your own business, hacking away at a block above you in some cavern and bam! Water comes pouring down on top of you and you're dead. It can also push you into all kinds of danger. One time I got pushed off a cliff by water. Screw you water. Minecraft has made me hate water, but you know what? At least it doesn't destroy stuff, because that's exactly what lava does, and that's why it's at number seven. Lava likes to stay generally out of your way in caverns way below the ground, but unlike water, it sets you on fire if you touch it and will kill you in seconds if you fall into it. With such a deadly substance, it's not surprising that it kills so many new players. The most frustrating way to die to lava is when you're mining the block below you, and it turns out there's a lava pool right below. Never mine directly below you guys. It's probably my number one piece of advice to not get your yourself killed in Minecraft. Alright guys, one thing you have in common with your Minecraft character is that you both need to breathe, which is why suffocating is our number six. Having your head stuck in sand or gravel is usually the most common way to suffocate in the game. Many brave souls have died by accidentally digging into a lake, and if the water doesn't kill you, you'll choke on sand. Other ways to suffocate include riding your horse into a two block space, or standing on top of a sapling as it grows into a tree, because you'll suddenly find yourself inside of a tree where, shockingly, you can't breathe. So as you can see, that's where the similarities between you and your Minecraft character tend to end, because you're unlikely to choke to death standing on a small tree or riding a horse. But the sand thing, that will suffocate you in real life, so don't breathe sand, guys. You also shouldn't eat sand, no matter how hungry you get in the game, even if you're starving, which is at number five. There are lots of things to eat in Minecraft, bread, chicken, watermelons, and even pumpkin pie should satisfy your hunger in the game, but be careful, because if you don't, your hunger's gonna bite back. If your hunger bar reaches zero, you'll start to lose health at a rate of half a heart every four seconds. This isn't a huge deal if you're in your house, because you can just open up that chest of cakes you've been hoarding, but a lot of players die when they're out on an adventure. When there's so many diamonds to mine and so little time, it's easy to forget to bring food with you. And no guys, don't try and eat the diamonds either. I tried that when I was desperate. Mm, didn't go too well. Although diamond weapons can be great in fighting off undead monsters in Minecraft, and they're at our number four. There's a lot of aggressive undead out there, like the zombie who will claw at you, and the skeletal archer who will fill you with arrows. It's a cold, cruel world out there, guys. Even the spiders will kill you if they're in the mood. Now the best way to avoid the undead is during the daytime, because they hate the sunlight. When it's nighttime, you run, you build something and run. Although I feel like eventually even the daytime won't be safe in this game anymore. I'm looking at you, pigs. I haven't trusted a pig since day one. If you guys have managed to survive everything on our list so far, then don't trip over and fall to your death, because that's our number three. Your character might be made out of pixels, but even pixels can get hurt if they fall far enough. This can be done by natural or unnatural means. You might be tempted to climb that huge mountain near to where you spawned. Everybody loves a good view, right? Just make sure you keep an eye on the blocks at the top, because 
one wrong move and you'll be enjoying the view of the death screen. When I play the game I tend to die a lot from falling off my roof. There's nothing more embarrassing than dying as you're trying to finish off a chimney. Speaking of chimneys, you guys might want to build a fire in your house but be careful because it is a lethal force in the game and that's why it's at number 2. In the natural world of Minecraft, fire can be caused when lava or lightning touches something flammable but you're much more likely to see it if you make it yourself using some good old flint and steel. But be careful because once you spark up a fire it can be very hard to control. If you set fire to a tree then pretty soon the whole forest will be ablaze and so will you. Many players die when they set their own house on fire which is doubly bad because you kill yourself and you have no home to go back to. I speak from experience this one. I once spent an hour building a nice little brick fireplace in my house only to make the back panel out of wood. Yeah, it caught fire, so did my house and so did I. You live and learn or you die and learn. By the way guys, we've covered a lot of different ways to die in Minecraft from TNT to drowning and even suffocating on sand, but all of that looks like a walk in the park compared to our number one which is dying to the ender dragon. It's simple really, collect 12 ender pearls, craft them into eyes of ender, locate an end portal and activate it. Why? So that you can enter a dimension called the end and die to the massive dragon that lives there, the ender dragon. Be warned, this thing will destroy you if you don't come prepared. Many players have died to the ender dragon because they simply haven't done their research or their gear sucks. Both of these will get you killed. Its flame breath can destroy almost anything in the game and it has a ton of health. Even if you do survive long enough to chunk it down, it can heal off nearby ender crystals until you destroy them. If you do manage to kill it guys, the rewards can be pretty sweet, but for a lot of players out there it's just an elaborate form of suicide. It feasts on the souls of thousands of noobs every day and that's why it's our number one. Alright guys, let me know what you thought of this video, also let me know in the comments below if you have any other better Minecraft deaths, and also let me know if you've actually killed the ender dragon before. I'm a bit of a noob in the game so I haven't. Guys also be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date with everything we have here. We're making videos every day now so you really can't afford to miss out. Also if you are enjoying them, leave a suggestion in the comment section below and we'll turn it into a video just like this one. In the meantime guys, my name is Danny Bird, thanks for watching Most Amazing Top 10 and I'll see you very soon.